G'day. Paul here, I'm out in my shed. And can you see this little tomato bush? That's been living outside all through the winter months here in Queensland. And that was planted exactly the same time as these plants were planted. And look at the difference. Tiny little stunted growth, not even a flower. There's one being formed on the top. Uh, going nowhere really. These guys have gone to the light. They've been in the shed, gone straight up to the skylight and they're blossoming. Not only that, I don't know, you can't see it from there, but there's uh, fruit on it already. There's a big one up the top and a couple here and a couple more little baby ones coming over there. Uh, we are going to have beautiful, ripe, big black tomatoes in probably another month. And there's a moral to the story. You need to hunger and thirst for righteousness if you want righteousness. These guys hungered and thirst for the light, to be in the light. And uh, they got to the light and they were in the warmth of the shed and they flourished. And the same thing happens for us when we hunger and thirst for righteousness with God. We can be end up like that little stunted little tomato bush over there going nowhere if we don't hunger and thirst for the light of God. Hallelujah. So today's uh, meditation is about hungering for more of God. In Matthew 5 verse 6 Jesus says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied. In Psalm 81 we read, I the Lord am your God who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. He promises that if we open our mouth wide, he will fill us. In Deuteronomy 8 verse 3, back in the Old Testament, he humbled you and let you be hungry and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know that he might make you understand that man does not live by bread alone, but man lives by everything that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. The word of God is so full of riches and goodness for us. In Isaiah 55, the prophet said, Come all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labour on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good and you will delight in the richest fare. Eat what is good. Listen to God and eat what is good. and You will delight in the richest of fare. And in Psalm 119 we know that salvation is far from the wicked for they seek not nor hunger for your statutes. And if you don't hunger for things of God, you won't get it. You need to hunger for the Lord. In John 6, 33, we read this, For the bread of God is that which comes down out of heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, always give us this bread. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger, and he who believes in me will never thirst. Luke 6, Jesus taught them what really matters most. He said in verse 20, Looking intently at his followers, Jesus began his sermon, How enriched you become when you are poor, for you will experience the reality of God's kingdom realm. And he goes on, how filled you become when you are consumed with hunger and desire, for you will become satisfied. In Psalm 107 verse 9 it says this, For he satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry soul with good. He's longing to see a hungry soul wanting to listen to his word. In Proverbs 8 verse 17 in the Amplified Version, it says, I love those who love me and those who seek me early and diligently shall find me. The word tells us to pursue love 
and all the fruits of the Spirit, like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness and self-control. Pursue those fruits and in His timing, the gifts of the Spirit will manifest, allowing you to be Christ to the world, the hope of glory. So there's our little message today from these plants who hungered and thirsted for the light and the warmth of God and they rose up and became fruitful whereas the little old bush out there in the cold weather didn't have the same conditions and has stunted its growth and achieved nothing. What do we want to be like? Do we want to be stunted or do we want to grow into the fullness that God has for us? If we hunger and thirst for Him, for He satisfies the longing soul. Hallelujah. There's our meditation from the shed today. You have a great day. Get into His Word and let the Word of God get into you. See you later now. Bye.